Hi, now listen guys, food is the single most seductive thing on earth. If you can't win it over with your chat, you'll win it over with your cooking. So, in my China thrillers, Li Yan, who's the uh, Chinese detective, uh, always wins over the American pathologist, Margaret, with the food. He takes her to the most fabulous restaurants, she eats the most extraordinary food. He teaches her little things about spicy food and how you counteract the heat of the spice with sugar, etc. But really, food is the way to a woman's heart. They say it's the way to a man's heart, it's the way to a woman's heart. And beyond. So today we're going to do a starter of five spice spare ribs and a main course of Korean barbecued chicken. Just to keep the theme nice and Asian. Okay, so here are all your ingredients. You can use up to two pounds of pork spare ribs. First for your marinade, pour in half a cup or four fluid ounces of soy sauce. Then add three crushed cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of grated ginger, now two teaspoons of five spice powder, half a teaspoon of ground chili, and three tablespoons of sunflower oil. Mix that all together well. Okay. Once that's done, add your ribs. Just dump them all in there. These are particularly meaty little beasts. Mix it all together well. Make sure they're well coated with the marinade. Once you've done that, cover the bowl with cling film and put it in the fridge overnight. This is a very simple salad dressing. Two tablespoons of very healthy olive oil. One tablespoon of cider vinegar. A generous squirt of lemon juice. Use a real one if you can. A heaped teaspoon of grain mustard. A tablespoon of liquid honey. Very important ingredient here. Two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil and some salt to taste. Give it all a good shake and set aside. Okay. Salad's very simple. You can use whatever you like in this salad with a base of lettuce leaves. Add some green onions. In this case I'm using shallots. Uh, you can slice some mushrooms, uh, red pepper. I'm just putting in some tomato. Chop it up nice and finely. Mix it all together in a bowl. Get your hands right in there. Since this is a meal for two, we're only using two chicken breasts here. So make sure they're nice and clean, well washed. Cut off any excess fat or any uh, tissue. Make sure they're nice and clean and fresh, well trimmed. Just like that. Then you take each chicken breast and you score it pretty deeply on each side with a sharp knife. This is to let the marinade permeate the whole chicken breast. Let's get right in there and do its work. Put some cling film over it and beat it flat with a blunt instrument. Uh, when it's done, scrape it off the board just like this. Doesn't matter if it breaks up too much, all the better. Now for the marinade, you see the ingredients there, very simple. First we put in three cloves of crushed garlic, a one inch piece of fresh ginger, peeled and grated, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of cider vinegar, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, 
four spring onions, finely sliced, or in this case, again, shallots, two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, one heaped tablespoon of sugar, and plenty of fresh ground pepper to make it all nice and spicy. Mix it up well. Then lay your chicken pieces in, one by one. Make sure they're well coated with the marinade. Turn them over. You'll be laying one layer on top of the other. Just make sure they're well covered. Just like that. Smells fantastic, even at this stage. Once you have all the chicken in the bowl, nicely coated, covered over with the marinade, get some cling film, wrap it up, covered, stick it in the fridge. Okay, so this you can do earlier in the day. Heat up three tablespoons of oil in a wok. When it's up to good temperature, put in the ribs. You can probably get about four in the pan at any one time. Turn them over, make sure they're well browned on all sides. You're not cooking them here, just browning them. When that's done, place them in a saucepan. Then you go through the whole process again. When that's done, pour the remaining marinade over the ribs in the saucepan. Put on a medium gas, bring to the boil, make sure the ribs are well covered with the marinade. Once it's boiling, turn it down to a simmer, put on the lid and leave for 45 minutes. 15 minutes before serving, heat them up again till the liquid is boiling. Add your four tablespoons of liquid honey. Make sure the ribs are well coated with the honey mixture so they'll be beautifully glazed. Make sure it's boiling, turn it down to a simmer and leave for 10 minutes. Then you're ready to serve. Very simple, nice white serving dish. Lay out your ribs as nicely as possible, of course. Spoon over some of the juices and then sprinkle with some green onion and uh, voila! A little white wine and you're ready to go. Take out your salad dressing, give it a good shake, pour it over your salad Mix well, a couple of serving plates, spoon out a good helping of salad onto each of the plates, voila, ready to cook. Heat up your heavy based frying pan till it's smoking, put in your chicken, oh here it sizzle and the smell is fabulous. Once it's all in there, make it sure it's well and flat, all in good contact with the bottom of the pan. After one minute only, flip it over. You'll see that it's already started to burn and caramelize. That's exactly as you want it to be. Wonderfully tasty. Once it's all turned, leave for one minute and you're ready to serve. Serving couldn't be simpler. Use your spatula to place the chicken pieces on top of the salad. Et voila, glass of red wine, bon appétit. And there you go, it's as simple as that. You too can be a master chef and a great lover. Mm -hmm.